pregnant Kate puts on a very rare tactile display with William as she touches his knee during visit to the Blue Peter set but was she inspired by Meghan and Harry's love up engagement interview. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are never seen holding hands in public and keep their displays of affection private in order to appear professional on royal engagements. But Kate broke with tradition last week as she put on a rare tactile display with William, touching his knee as they were interviewed for Blue Peter during a visit to Manchester last week. The gesture was reminiscent of Harry and Meghan's love up engagement interview with the couple holding hands throughout. The suits star also touched the royal's knee as they playfully joked around. William and Kate were on set in Salford last week to follow in the footsteps of the Queen by being awarded the Gold Blue Peter badge for their campaign work around mental health and mental health issues affecting children. The Queen was awarded the Gold Badge, the program's highest award, during her Golden Jubilee year in 2002. Sir David Attenborough, J.K. Rowling, Steven Spielberg, Mary Berry and David Beckham are among the small number of people to have been presented with the accolade, for role models who show great expertise in their field and inspire children across generations. Receiving his badge, from presenters Rabzi Chiney and Lindsay Russell, William said, That's very touching. Thank you very, very much. Wow, that's amazing. We have won a badge. He said of the couple's work on mental health, we've still got a long way to go yet but we are getting there. A shift is happening and we will hopefully crack the problem that should have been cracked a long time ago. Joking about his grandmother also having a badge, he added, we'll compare. Kate told the BBC show's presenters, it's hugely special. Mental health has been a learning process for us too. We want to get everyone talking about it so it hasn't got that stigma it's had. Blue Peter editor Ewan in Icom said, It was a real honor to welcome the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to the Blue Peter Studios in our 60th year. It was lovely to show them how much we value our audience getting involved with the show through letters, fan club comments on the website and the fantastic artwork they send to us every week. His Royal Highness was particularly impressed with a drawing of his grandmother wearing a tiara that one of the children had sent in. Viewers can see William and Kate being presented with their badges in Thursday's live Blue Peter Christmas special at 5.30 p.m. on CBBC. Blue Peter relocated to the BBC's Media City in Salford in May 2012 after previously being filmed in London since it first aired in 1958 and is the longest-running children's TV show in the world. There have been various presenters throughout history and the show has now cut it down to just two hosts. Rabzi Chiney and Lindsay Russell who met with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. There have been almost 5,000 episodes in total and the show currently airs live at 5.45 p.m. on Thursdays on the CBBC channel. The royal couple visited the studios during their whistle-stop visit to Manchester on Wednesday last week, where they stopped by the Friars Primary School in Salford as they gave the BBC feedback on its shows as part of the Children's Global Media Summit at Manchester Central Convention Centre. William also made a keynote speech at the event, confessing how troubled he feels by cyberbullying. He said, Bullying through phones and social media is an issue that caught my attention after reading about children who had taken their own lives when the pressure got too much. As a Hems and Air Ambulance pilot, I was called to the scenes of suicides and I witnessed the devastation and despair it brought about. And I felt a responsibility to do something about it. The Duke and Duchess were played the video in which children were asked to read a number of comments made to bullying victims. Among the shocking remarks were you're annoying, you're worthless and kill yourself. William said, parents like Catherine and me are raising the first generation of digitally immersed children, and this gives us many reasons to be optimistic about the impact of technology on childhood. But he added, I am afraid to say that, as a parent, I believe we have grounds for concern. Kate dazzled in the red goat fashion dress and monochrome LK Bennett coat as she chatted to BBC Radio 5 Live's Nikki Campbell and Mac Fly's Tom Fletcher about children's emotions. They joined a roundtable discussion about kindness a strategy aimed at introducing children to empathy while they are still young. The couple began the day's visit by attending a stepping out session, the focus group for children to give feedback on new programs to children's TV producers and editorial staff. They met BBC Director General Tony Hall, Chief Advisor of BBC Sport Neil Land and the Director of BBC Children's Alice Webb as they arrived at the offices. 